Hi, I am just in case and I am expert in every subject. Today, I am going to rant about transmission issues. Proper bullshit. Diagnosing car problems yourself may seem daunting. If you know the telltale signs of transmission problems, you'll know exactly when to take your car to the mechanic. Mechanical auto problems usually have distinct sounds and that are key indicators something isn't functioning right. Transmissions take a lot of use over the years and need repair after a while. Transmission repairs can be expensive, so it's worthwhile to pay attention to anything that seems unusual before the problem gets worse. If the transmission refuses to budge when you depress the clutch pedal and attempt to move the stick shifter, you may have a transmission issue. If car won't go into gear, common causes include low transmission fluid or wrong viscosity or thickness of the transmission fluid, which are relatively easy fixes. It could also indicate a problem with the shift cables or clutch linkage. If you get a whiff of burning transmission fluid, it may indicate your transmission is overheating. Fluid lubricates the transmission's many moving parts and prevents the unit from burning itself up. Your transmission fluid might start to burn if it's too low, potentially indicating a leak or dirty fluid that needs changing. A whining sound may indicate transmission issues. Lots of noises from the transmission while it's in neutral could signal something more serious, like mechanical wear that will need parts replacement. In a normally functioning transmission, the car stays in the gear you designate until you initiate a gear shift. But on a transmission with slipping gears, the car can spontaneously pop out of gear while driving and force the stick back into neutral. Slipping transmission is dangerous. No need to scratch your head over whether this is trouble or not. If it happens, you know it's time to have your transmission system examined. A dragging clutch fails to disengage the clutch disc from the flywheel when you push in the clutch pedal. When you attempt to shift gears, you can't because the still engaged clutch is still spinning along with the engine. You'll know immediately because of the grinding noise you'll hear when you try to shift gears. The most common cause for this problem is not severe or costly to fix. Leaking transmission fluid is one of the easiest ways to identify that your transmission needs attention. A little fluid on your driveway can quickly become a major problem. Check transmission fluid at the transmission case through the fill plug. Your car's check engine light can be a great early indicator that something is wrong with your transmission. You should check the transmission fluid level if your car starts shaking or emitting grinding sounds when you accelerate. If the transmission dipstick doesn't indicate insufficient fluid, the safest move is to bring your car into a professional. Transmissions should go into the correct gear every time, so when they hesitate or refuse to go, it's a sure sign there's something wrong. You may notice that the car's engine will rev up after shifting into gear, but the car won't move as quickly as the engine is running. In this case, you may have a worn-out clutch. If your car shakes when you try to accelerate, your transmission fluid may be low. If you fully engage the clutch, shift, and then hear a grinding sound, you may have a warm clutch or just need to adjust it. Or perhaps one or more of your transmission's gear synchronizers, or synchros, are worn out or damaged. So open your ears. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.